jewelry cleaner. Uh, this hour, we call these jewelry boxes, but you know, Honestly, I mean, yes, of course, you've got all your little uh, stations and your pockets for your jewelry, but you can put little trinkets or things that are special to you uh, in there as well. You will be getting a set of two today of these tasseled, um, beautiful jewelry boxes. So you get the smaller one, and then you're also going to get the larger one that feels like the softest, most premium leather. And then take a look at that because it's not just, you know, one level. You do have a lot of space and storage for you to go ahead and get really comfortable and put your favorite pieces there. So maybe you don't put your entire collection in these, but maybe the pieces you use every single day, those are the ones that go in these gorgeous, beautiful jewelry boxes that should be so much more money. So we've got it available for you in the blush, or you can go ahead and choose that ivory. Uh, this is item 737073. So tell me about these. And I love that you gave us different textures, right? So it's almost like we mixed and matched them ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's so nice. You have the velvet one and then the leather one that's the larger. But, you know, I wanted to tell you that when you're decorating your home, one thing I do in all of my clients' homes, whether it's a bookshelf or just even a, a console table, I always use boxes because you always need a place to put something, whether mm -hmm. it's your jewelry or not. And these are great because if you don't want to use it as a jewelry box, you can take this out and use the box. But they're such a great statement piece to put on your mantle on a bookshelf, I, I, I like a, a couple of books and put the small one on top of the books, use the larger one on a different shelf. There's just a lot of ways you can use these to decorate your home. And I have to say, Leslie, another thing I love that you brought up, and you're right, Lonnie, like there's so many other things you can do. I mean, these first of all make beautiful jewelry boxes and they're an incredible gift. I just want to put that out there right now because I'm already buying them as gifts. I'm actually keeping them just because, you know, Leslie, when something comes up and you're like, oh, Oh gosh, uh -huh. I didn't get her a gift. You know, uh -huh. this is so great to have at home. And what an amazing price for the set of two. You're getting a gift that looks so much more expensive, right? But one thing I want to say, you know, my husband's 50th birthday was this past weekend. So we were going through his mother's boxes of pictures at home and she's got paper boxes, you know, and I thought to myself, okay, note to self, I have to get Gail these boxes to keep her treasured photos mm -hmm. of the kids oh, when they were yeah. babies. So, you know, think about like for that mother in your life, your grandmother, what a gorgeous gift that you could say, you know, grandma, you can, you can wear, you know, use these as jewelry boxes, but also you can keep your beautiful treasured family photos in these as well. And maybe get a few of them, especially at the price, because what you're looking at really is about $15 each, mm -hmm. right, for these gorgeous high-end boxes. They're really beautifully made. I love the touch of the golden tassel on each one of these. I love that they're mixed texture so you can keep them together or put them in different areas of your home or set them side by side. It's completely up to you, but it's attainable luxury. You use them for whatever you need. The small one, by the way, is seven by five by four inches high. The large is about nine by seven by five inches high. So you do get a lot of space in there, plus the layers. So as Lonnie said, if you don't want to use it for your jewelry, you know, remember that there's some depth in there as well. Uh, as Juliana said, to put in some photographs or it's, it's so funny because I remember as a little girl, uh, you mentioned grandma. I remember as a little girl, I would always look through my mom's jewelry boxes or my grand, right? Like your moms, your grandmas, they always had the most interesting stuff. Like my little fingers couldn't get enough of that. And so, um, you know, keep your little treasures or your keepsakes. I don't know if you girls do it and maybe it's a little creepy. I've been keeping the boys' little teeth when they fall out in these little Limoges boxes, but you know, maybe instead of keeping the little, the little baby teeth out somewhere visible you keep them to yourself you keep them in your pretty little boxes but it's up to you what special things you put in there and leslie i agree with you you know i think sometimes it's just like the exterior you know is also just as you know as important as what's inside because when you look at these right in your closet or somewhere where you're storing important things you know that whatever is in these boxes with the gold tassels has something special inside. So I really agree with you. Whatever it is that's so near and dear to your heart, to keep them in a beautiful box is such a reminder of like, hey, there's something special in there. So when the grandkids come over, when the kids come over, I, I'm with you, Leslie, and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. <laughs> I have so many of those memories of going through, you know, right? my mom 
grandmother's boxes or, you know, my grandmother's boxes for her jewelry, her keepsakes, pictures. And it's so, it's such a, there's such vibrant memories. So I think especially keeping those things in beautiful boxes really just kind of like makes those memories even more vibrant, right? Mm. And so, and another thing I wanted to mention, I mentioned great gifts. You can obviously get the set and then give them as separate gifts as well, which is fabulous too. Mm. On its own is a fantastic gift. Yes. And so, uh, speaking of gifts, I just, we don't have time for these, but I begged my producer, Kevin, he was like, Les, we don't have time for them. And I said, please, show